So it looks like Cassie has most definitely opened the floodgates because more people are coming out who've had very close connections to P. Diddy and are speaking up. Hey guys, it's Marab Maradi. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And let's get straight into this mess. We've got a lot to break down, guys. So it looks like Diddy's former longtime personal assistant, Capricorn Clark, has come forward with an interesting post on Twitter. Don't take the path of the wicked. Don't follow those who do evil. Stay away from that path. Don't even go near it. Turn around and go the other way. Proverbs 4, 14. Doors be unlocked. You gotta be willing to walk away from the money, full stop. Because 2011 was hell, tragic kingdom. They gonna cross you for somebody who gonna cross them. So, you know, this is a former personal assistant of P. Diddy who has come out. Now, if you, those of you who remember Capricorn Clark, she worked with him for a very long time. So slowly but surely, people are coming forward, guys, and are discussing this situation with P. Diddy and everything. So I feel like Cassie's statement has given confidence. Cassie's lawsuit has given confidence. Now, I'm not gonna lie, if somebody speaks, I'm, I, like, I really despise a whole blues clues type of person because it seems very wayward. But at the end of the time, at the end of the day, sorry, we have to remember that there are NDAs that are probably still active from when they first signed them. So perhaps she can't really speak properly about it, number one. Number two, she probably fears for her safety anyways. So, and therefore she's writing in this whole blues clues kind of way and bringing out statements from the Bible. But, you know, basically saying you've got to walk away from that money, tragic kingdom, 2011 was hell. Now, what happened in 2011? What is her story that she is describing as hell? So this is what I mean. It's opening the floodgates. There are multiple other people now coming forth with their own stories of hell that P. Diddy and his people put him through, put her through and multiple other people. I don't see any men coming forward, unfortunately. That would be a game changer in my opinion, but I don't see any men coming forward. I just, people should keep their foot on the brake when it comes to this story because I feel like because it was settled so quickly, people are gonna forget about this within a week or two and then we're gonna see P. Diddy at some award show in a year's time and people just like to forget because it's easy to forget. And it's sad that he is basically going to get away with this. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully more people keep speaking and re people keep reporting on those who keep speaking to keep this story alive because P. Diddy is a very gross man. I can never get over those scenes described with the candles, filming her, putting oil all over her, telling her to call these sex workers slurs and etc. Like, I just can't get over that. It's very ritualistic, demonic, scary. And I fear for her, this particular woman who's come forward, Capricorn Clark. I fear for Cassie still, you know? When all eyes are off Cassie, is something gonna happen to her? Is she gonna, how is she gonna sleep? You know, does she need security around the clock 24 seven? It is obviously very dangerous, but I think Peter would be stupid to do anything to Cassie right now because his name's hot on the block, but we don't know what could happen. But. Here we go, we have the first person to come forward, you know, her, um, P. Diddy's very old former assistant. Subscribe, click that button guys, just a quick P. Diddy um, Cassie nugget update, and I will catch you guys soon for another video.